Hello, welcome to Lil's Vintage World. And welcome to another one of my history book views where I take three history books and review them for you. If any of these books take your fancy, then they will be linked in the description bar below as always. So, all of these books I was kindly sent from the publisher, which is Pen and Saw, so thank you to the guys at Pen and Saw for sending them. Let's get straight into it. So the first book that I have to share with you is Holding the Home Front, The Women's Land Army in the First World War by Caroline Scott. This book is a fascinating look into the Women's Land Army in the First World War. When we think of the Women's Land Army, we do tend to think of the Second World War, but actually they were there in the First World War too. It's such a shame that they have been forgotten. But this book, which is um, very heavily detailed, extremely well researched, brings these women and the Women's Land Army of the First World War back to life. So my favourite part of the book is the use of primary source detail, which is scattered throughout the whole of the book. So it might be um, letters that have survived from perhaps the women themselves, interviews from the women themselves, it might be uh, letters from the farmers, it might be um, something from a magazine of the period about the Women's Land Army. There's loads of it available. And what Caroline does is she says something, she explains something, she gives you the factual side about it, and then what you have um, underneath it is the primary source detail, which almost reads like it's a storybook. So it's almost as if you have two kind of books at the same time. You've got this uh, very detailed, very well researched, uh, non-fiction side of it, and then you've got this kind of storyteller element too. This is fantastic because it's almost as if you can hear the women's voices from the Land Army come back and jumping out the pages. And then the next two books are books I was sent quite a while ago, and I was planning on doing a separate video, I was planning on doing um, a little mini series, which I am still planning on doing, which is going to be on uh, books to get into the history of fashion. However, I keep acquiring books on the history of fashion, so the, book, the videos keep getting put off, so I thought I'd review them for you now. So firstly, I have Edwardian Ladies Hat Fashions by Peter Kimpton. This book is a collection primarily of postcards from Peter's own collection of women of the Edwardian period wearing very big, very fashionable at the time, hats. Uh, this is perfect for people who are interested in the history of millinery or people who love Edwardian fashions, like I do. Love some Edwardian fashions. Dotted throughout the postcards and the images, etc., we have quite a bit of information. Some of it is on the background of the monarchy and what's happening uh, with the monarchy at that time, because of course the monarchy uh, do have an impact on fashion because what they're wearing, other people want to wear, etc. There's also um, a discussions about the history of the postcards and how Peter came um, to acquire them about the women in the postcards, etc., what women's life was like during that period. This is a historical-based book on the history of millinery, so if you know someone or you yourself is interested in the history of hats, then this is the book for you. And then finally, I have Corsets and Cod Pieces, A Social History of Outrageous Fashion by Karen Bowman. So this is a time travel book. We travel back in time, starting with the Romans, and then we seep through to like the Middle Ages, the Tudor period, the Stuarts, the Georgians, etc., talking about their outrageous fashion. So we in the 21st century have silly, outrageous fashion, and it's it hasn't changed through history. There has always been silly, outrageous fashions. And we start off with the Romans with their very short skirts. Uh, we talk about ruffs. Um, we talk about the Georgian's hair. We talk about the bustles. We talk about all things that are a little bit outrageous. This is a fantastic book. I am a sociology graduate and this is a book that I love because this combines sociology and society with fashion. It talks about why society was interested in wearing a certain thing. I really enjoy that aspect and if you enjoy society and social history then you'll love this book. It brings social history and fashion together. So that's it for my history book reviews. If you want to get your hands on any of these three, it'll be linked in the description bar below. So in the comments, let's have a chat about all things books and history related. I love talking to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more bookish historic videos from myself. So that's it for today's video. Take care and I shall see you soon for the next one.
Bye for now.